Hi guys, welcome back. So, here in Queenstown, over the past sort of 24 hours, 36 hours, something like that, we've had an absolute massive load of snowfall. Mental, so much snow, really, really thick, you know, proper snow. And so I kind of geared up, it's Sunday morning here now, we've had, like I say, two days flat out snow. I'd kind of geared up to do some pretty much winter photography, even though we're two weeks into spring. So I've come to my location, which is about 15 minutes drive from my house and I went through like from heavy snowfall to the, to sleet to then rain to now I'm in my location and it's literally just overcast nothing so zero precipitation which is just mental uh, I'm pretty happy about it to be honest I didn't fancy doing photography today and just getting soaking wet again so <laughs> yeah pretty happy and um, so no winter photography it's a lovely little location that we're at today i've been here a couple of times and yeah it's really really nice and i think we're going to get some decent shots in the, even in this weather so yeah let's go and see what we can find oh, So I'm all set up for my first image here. It's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be intimate. It's gonna be almost a little bit minimalist. Two subjects are gonna be the lake and the rock, that's it. The colors in this lake are beautiful. It goes from clear to like this gorgeous turquoise color. It's gonna be at the top, top third of my composition, which is, which is wonderful. We're looking at an eight second exposure at F16. The sunlight's come out now, it's mental. So pretty harsh light, ISO 100. Uh, and I'm just going to see how it looks on the eight second, uh, eight second exposure. So that looks pretty good. I'm just checking my histogram and it looks perfect. So I think I'm pretty lucky there. First time shadows and highlights are looking great. Should also mention as well, I've got my polarizer on behind my six stop ND filter. There was so much reflection in this water because I'm shooting kind of down towards the lake at an angle. It's capturing a lot of these clouds in the sky. So it's cutting through all that glare and capturing the rocks on the on the bed of the lake. So that's fantastic. Um, so pretty decent first image, I think. So straight onto my second image, and I want to create a little bit of a theme within my vlog. So. As a bit of a backstory, my love for landscape photography in general started off as kind of travel photography. So my passion for travel started when I was 21. I started traveling in Europe on my own and it was amazing. And I used to just whip my phone out, you know, and take snapshots of landscapes or cityscapes, anything, anything that, uh, that caught my eye, basically. So I want to kind of carry that on in a way. And I really don't think there's anything wrong with that, um, even in terms of landscape photography. So every week I want to try and capture an image that's going to be a nice memory just for myself and more often than not probably incorporate myself in the image, get the old 10 second timer on and just run in the composition. So my idea for that image this week, I've got this beautiful jetty just sort of leading out into the, into the lake and we've got that same turquoise colour at the end and all I'm going to do, I've got my camera set up, composition, I've got my settings already and I'm just going to stick the 10 second timer on, run to the right at the edge of the jetty sit down and just let the photograph take itself basically so yeah i think it's going to be a, a lovely little memory and a pretty decent photograph
it's absolutely gorgeous up here at the top of this sort of crag and to be honest I would love to get an image up here but I'm just not really feeling it to be honest it's another gorgeous it would be another gorgeous snapshot if I wanted to take one but I don't know the foreground's kind of the same as the background as I could incorporate these rocks on the mountain as the foreground but it just doesn't do it for me I'm not I'm not really feeling it so I'm going to head back down to the lake pretty much where I started and see if I can get another image down there just uh, you know the other side of the lake so yeah uh, we'll see what we can find now I'm going to try and capture what I think is going to be my final image here so I've got the camera set up already on the tripod I don't really need the tripod I'm looking at about one six hundredth of a second shutter speed here so it's not too necessary but I'm kind of waiting you can see this scene here this sort of first layer of forest that's where I've just come from at the top of that crag and then in the background the mountains that's what I'm waiting for so I've got it on the tripod just to sort of hold the composition and wait for the right light them clouds obviously constantly moving the light seems to be fading then coming back I guess as it's shining through the clouds and I'm just waiting for the right moment to hit the shutter um, and my idea is just a couple of layers so I've got that as my foreground and in the background this is the, the story of the last few days there's been so much snowfall loads of these sort of grey clouds lingering around the mountain so yeah like I say it's just waiting for the right moment to press the shutter gonna head back now guys uh, thank you for watching I don't think I'm too pleased with the images I got this week if I'm being honest with you uh, I really hope somebody likes them at least but I don't know I guess I can't tell till I've got home and got them got them up on the old laptop and stuff so um, as always thanks for watching much appreciated uh, I think next week I'm gonna try and focus on maybe a sunset or a sunrise uh, find a find a nice location for that so um, yeah again thanks for watching and see you next week